projections of straight lines projections of straight lines are classified into four cases when the line is parallel to both the reference planes this is the first case in this case when a line is parallel to both hp and vp we will get the true length in the front view and we will get the true length in the top view second one is when the line is parallel to vp and inclined to hp when a line is inclined to hp then automatically we will get reduced length in the top view and true length in the front view when the line is parallel to hp and inclined to vp then we will get true length in the top view and reduced length in the front view the fourth one is when the line is inclined to both the reference planes when the line is inclined to both the reference planes we will get reduced lengths in both front view and top view now we will see the first case that is line parallel to both hp and vp the line parallel to both hp and vp when it is in the first quadrant the situation is something like this 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 is the line and this is some distance above hp now it is some 20 distance above hp and now it is in front of vp 30 mm in front of vp the line is situated something like this now observe where we will get the front view front view is obtained somewhere here that is 20 mm above the horizontal plane and top view is obtained somewhere here on the horizontal plane and 30 mm from the vertical plane now to represent these two views front view and top view on a paper plane surface you have to rotate the horizontal plane such that this first quadrant is completely opened first quadrant is completely opened means rotate the first quadrant by 90 degrees then automatically the second quadrant will be closed as shown here now the top view is coming below the x y line this is the x y line which is the intersection of both horizontal and vertical planes now it will be something like this this is the x y line front view is somewhere here 20 mm above x y and the top view is somewhere here 30 mm below x y that means the front view is directly obtained by taking the distance with respect to the horizontal plane and the top view is obtained by taking the distance with respect to the vertical plane and it is in front of the vertical plane means after rotation you will get the top view below the x y line this is the situation in the first quadrant now we will see the situation in the second quadrant second quadrant means above hp and behind vp this is 20 mm above hp and some 30 mm behind vp this is the position of the line now observe where we are getting the front view front view is obtained somewhere here on the vertical plane and 20 mm above the horizontal plane so this is the xy line that means above hp means above the horizontal plane we will get the front view front view we can obtain directly now what about the top view observe here where we are getting the top view top view is obtained somewhere here on the horizontal plane and distance is 30 mm behind vp now to represent this on the paper you have to open the first quadrant opening the first quadrant means rotate it by 90 degrees such that it is completely opened then second quadrant will be closed as shown in this animation now observe where you are getting the top view now top view is above the x y line and some distance some distance above it 
and that is the distance in this case is 30 that means top view and front view both are lying on the same side of the xy line and and on the they are lying above the xy line this is the situation in the second quadrant that means in the second quadrant front view you can directly obtain and the top view after rotation that will come above the xy line now we will see the situation in the third quadrant third quadrant is below the horizontal plane some distance below hp and behind vp somewhere here we will get the we will get the position of the straight line now observe where you will get the front view front view is obtained on the vertical plane somewhere here when you are seeing from the front directly you can see the distance from the horizontal plane that is 20 so this is the xy line directly we can obtain the front view 20 di distance below the xy line now observe where we will get the top view top view is obtained somewhere here some distance behind vp and it is on the horizontal plane so behind vp distance is and let, let us assume some 30 30 distance behind vp and it is on the horizontal plane after rotation when first quadrant is opened third quadrant will be closed second quadrant will be closed then automatically top view will come above the xy line this is the xy line top view will come somewhere here above the xy line so this is the top view and this is the front view that means when the straight line is in the third quadrant front view will come below the xy line and the top view will come above the xy line now we will see the situation in fourth quadrant fourth quadrant means below hp below hp and in front of vp below hp and in front of vp this is the situation of the line this is 30 m in front of vp now observe where you will get the front view front view is directly obtained on the vertical plane and 20 mm below the horizontal plane that means this is the xy line 20 mm below xy you will get the front view now observe how you will obtain the top view top view is obtained somewhere here on the horizontal plane and 30 distance 30 mm in front of the vertical plane so after opening the first quadrant fourth quadrant will be closed and this top view will come below the xy line observe here now this top view is coming below this xy line so this is the front view and this is the top view after completely rotating it you will get front view and top view both lying on the same side of the xy line and below the xy line this is the situation in the fourth quadrant 